today's topic is three keys to employment agreements. Let's get started. First question we're gonna answer is, do you need an employment agreement? And the answer, of course, is it all depends. If you're a first time founder and you're starting a company that you're gonna bankroll yourself, you're not gonna need anybody else's money, so you're gonna control the company, you don't need an employment agreement. You're not gonna fire yourself. But listen up. If you are one of those entrepreneurs that's thinking about building a big company, maybe going out and raising venture capital, you need an employment agreement. But just having an employment agreement is not enough to protect you. You've gotta know how to use your employment agreement. So point number two is pay attention to the termination clause. That's where the action is. Within the termination clause, you're gonna find two different sections. The first part is going to tell you how they can kick you out of your company and not pay you anything more than the legally minimally required amount of money. That happens when you do something wrong. If you are terminated for cause, that means you did something significantly wrong. What did you do? Well, it's in the termination for cause section, look at the words that are in there. You're going to see words like felony and fraud or embezzlement or insubordination. You're going to see words like that. And many of them belong there, but some of them don't like the term insubordination. Insubordination could be interpreted any way that your board wants to. So do not leave words like that in there. Now, let's take a look at the other paragraph that's there. This is the one that's called termination for other than cause. And this is where it really matters because this is where most founders get screwed. How does it happen? They say they're terminating you for cause and they don't owe you much money. You say they're terminating you for no good reason and they need to pay you a lot of money. So how do you know which is gonna happen? read the words very carefully in termination for other than cause and make sure you've got it well defined. Watch out for weasel words. Weasel words are words like insubordination that can be broadly interpreted. So if your board wants to kick you out, and by the way, when they want to kick you out, they're not going to want to take good care of you. So you're only going to get what's in your contract. Make sure that the terms in your termination clause are going to work for you. And don't get screwed.